Hello and welcome back to Picks and Portraits. Today's video is uh, going to be a little different. We're going to be looking at an art lost to time, the forgotten world of video store promotional screeners. <laughs> now we included one of these in a recent sleep core, our tribute to 80s and 90s video store aesthetics. I believe that was a promo for Peter Jackson's Dead Alive. For those unfamiliar, these were more or less uh, marketing material, commercials, video sales pitches sent to video stores, uh, video rental stores, or just regular uh, retail stores. The most obvious comparison is to movie trailers that would have ran in theaters, promoting the release of a film. These are a little different though, as they were never meant to be viewed by the public. Unlike a promo or a commercial for a video release that would have aired on TV, these were for video store proprietors only. Because of this, the tone is a little different. It's all about how much money you will make on your investment, how much you're going to rent, uh, how much the customers are going to want this <laughs> or need it. Uh, with how accessible media is nowadays, it's easy to forget that VHS tapes used to be very expensive. They would retail anywhere between $70 and $100. The wholesale rate uh, for rental would have been somewhat cheaper, uh, probably around $50 or $60. Bear in mind, these are mid-80s prices though, so with inflation, these tapes could be worth hundreds of dollars. Big business, hence these screeners. <laughs> Some reassure the video store operators that uh, they would get rentals, business, their money's worth. Producers also outline their marketing strategy, which is absolutely fascinating, seeing the internal sales information, and how studios try to sell <laughs> their movies to sellers. These screeners could just be for one film uh, or for a studio's recent output. Sometimes they were simply commercials that would highlight how popular the film was, what critics were saying, how much money it made uh, at the box office. But other times the producers would get a little creative and make short vignettes uh, within the world of the films. Uh, that's what I want to look at today. I have compiled some examples here uh, with a seasonal pick. It is the week of Halloween after all. Now again, these VHS would be sent to video stores as well as retailers. Uh, we're going to be starting with the timely Nightmare on Elm Street 3, The Dream Warriors. This begins as a regular promo, kind of like a trailer for the movie, but is quickly interrupted by Freddy Krueger himself, Robert England, reprising the role, which is very cool. Uh, this is actually wild. <laughs> Freddy puts over how well the uh, previous Nightmare on Elm Streets did on video and promises the Dream Warriors will exceed these profits. It also includes news reports covering the film, a clip from Dawkins' Dream Warriors music video, as well as media appearances by England. Something I find very interesting <laughs> about these screeners is the uh, POP material that is featured, Point of Purchase. These are posters or other displays that will appear in the store to promote the film. Here we are seeing the different banners and posters included with the Dream Warriors. The screener also plugs Freddy's Be In My Nightmare sweepstakes, which gave entrance a chance to appear in uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, uh, ads for which appeared on MTV and in Rolling Stone. Uh, unfortunately, I could not find who won this or where they appeared. Uh, if you know, feel free to chime in down below. Up next, we have the screener for one of my favorite movies, T2, Terminator 2. Like with the Dream Warriors, the pitchman here is a character from the movie, in this case the T-1000, Robert Patrick. He appears in a video store that is uh, comprised exclusively of copies of T-2. As is expected, this puts over the numbers. T-2 was a massive movie. It was the highest grossing film of 1991 by a wide margin. It was huge. This screener paints Arnold as a megastar. Patrick also assures us, video store owners, that the VHS is going to be a hit, so we better order many. <laughs> they actually have it organized into different packs. The T-15 pre-pack comes with 12 copies of T-2 and uh, three of Drop Dead Fred, which was released around the same time. Uh, you also get a hat, shirt, and sunglasses, all branded uh, with the T-2 logo. The T-20 pack is similar with uh, more copies and an additional copy, uh, because why not? The extra promotional material here includes a previously viewed campaign that encouraged viewers to buy uh, previously rental copies, uh, helping owners recoup their costs, move stock. The POP would include stickers encouraging uh, previewed purchases. These kind of promotions uh, obviously existed before, uh, reselling uh, previous rental copies, but for such a large movie release, to be encouraging it uh, was certainly notable. For you animation fans out there, here is how 1999's The Iron Giant was presented to retailers. 
It's funny, seeing a children's movie marketed uh, with such uh, dry jargon, account-specific promotions, performing well in the fourth quarter, it starts pretty dry, uh, but seeing the promotional partners is uh, definitely a nostalgia trip, for me at least. This was my childhood. General Mills Serial Tie-Ins, a GM Venture minivan giveaway. Movie theaters were also giving out packages of Pokemon cards to kids uh, that included a $2 off coupon for video copies of The Iron Giant. Because of when it was released, uh, this is the only screener we're going to be looking at that mentions online promotion, AOL, which is wild seeing a VHS tape promoted this way. Uh, it feels modern in a way that the, uh, the others don't. Uh, it also plugs the DVD, which is unique uh, to the Iron Giant here, uh, but the VHS did come with an action figure. The last screener we are going to be looking at is for Jurassic Park. Fun fact, Jurassic Park is the seventh highest selling VHS of all time. In case you are wondering, The Lion King is number one. <laughs> when this VHS was released, Jurassic Park uh, was still the highest grossing film of all time though. The screener is not shy with the film's accomplishments. It is marketed as the biggest video event ever. Now, because of how big the movie was, this screener is considerably longer than the others we've looked at. It runs about 15 minutes. The marketing campaign included a pre-sell kit. If you pre-ordered the movie, you could get a special edition poster. You could also enter to win a trip to Kauai. That was the grand prize. Secondary prizes included survival kits uh, that contained a bunch of different things from uh, different sponsors, uh, as well as other merchandise. A partnership with MTV gave us the Call of the Wild contest, a weekly competition uh, to win similar prizes, uh, the survival kits, and a trip to Kauai. A cross-promotion event uh, with Jell-O is also outlined, a mail-in rebate, uh, same with CompuServe, McDonald's. The POP is great here. You had these dangling advertisements, posters, buttons, decals, a motorized display unit uh, that has a gate opening, uh, which is so great. Uh, it's all great. I love this. You wouldn't think a store would need encouragement to carry Jurassic Park, uh, or really anything we've looked at, but there was an entire industry around promoting these tapes using the medium itself. This is but the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> there are dozens of these tapes out there, but that is about it for me for today. This video was a lot of fun to put together. Uh, I will post links to all the clips featured in the description so you can let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and check out some of our other videos on video stores. We have one on the dying days of Blockbuster, looking at video rental post-2000, which is a fascinating look <laughs> into the death of an industry. We also have a more generalized history of home video rental. You can check both of those out. Also, if you have the means, please consider supporting us on Patreon. We have a ton of exclusive videos and series over there. Nightmare Core 2021 is also now available for free, but if you like what we do and you want to keep videos coming out more regularly, get some bonus stuff as well, please consider becoming a patron, patreon.com slash portraits. As always, thank you all so much for interest in this channel, and thanks for watching. Happy Halloween, everybody.